Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Amanda of Inspiring Inkin. Welcome to my craft room. This is video one of a two-part masterclass focusing on this lovely new product from Stampin' Up, which is embossing paste. It's absolutely fab. We can do lots and lots of different things with it. And rather than me taking you through complete projects, what I'm going to do is show you the techniques and show you some finished cards. That way we'll get through the techniques quite quickly um, and then you'll be able to use those techniques on your own creations. So let's get started. I'm going to do a bit of close-ups just to show you embossing paste and, and the products that kind of come with it that are going to help your world. Um, and just to show you, the products are on page 201 of the Stampin' Up! annual catalogue. Uh, there is the embossing paste, there are palette knives and there are some masks. <laughs> I'm sorry, for some reason I just couldn't remember what they were called. Masks. So there are masks there um, and also not on that page, on a different page, I'm not sure where that is but I'll find it in a minute, um, is a silicon mat. So you need one of those too. That will really help with your um, techniques. So let's start with the embossing paste first. It comes in a jar and it's um, got a, a foil seal. Um, you need something sharp, a pair of scissors to get the seal open. Um, and it looks looks like a pot of cold cream. For those of you um, that remember cold cream or different kinds of face cream, it's really kind of fluffy. And let me just get rid of that messy bit. Um, it's a really kind of strange consistency. It's kind of like icing. Um, it does, because it's aerated, if you sort of squash it down, it does kind of flatten out. So don't worry if your pot comes and it doesn't look completely full. It's actually filled by weight rather than by volume. And obviously because it's air freighted, it, it needs room to expand and contract. Um, now, several important things to note. When you're not using it, put the lid back on because it will dry out. And any tools and anything that you use, um, I have got a little tray here with some soapy water in it. Pop them in there to clean it off straight away. Don't leave the embossing paste on your tools or on your masks or anything because it will set really hard. So that's the embossing paste. So I've shown you one of the spatulas. These are the other, other two. Let me just clean that off. And then I'll show you the three of them together. So these these are the, the three. Now you're going to use them um, for different purposes. My favourite one really is this one. Um, you can see here it's it's got kind of a flat edge. And when I'm scraping over the masks, I really like that because it's quite a long edge. Um, for fiddly twiddly bits, I use this one. And for big kind of swathes of, of embossing paste, I use this one. So they're all really cool, but they come as a set of three anyway, so you don't have to pick which one you want. For some reason, I only have three masks here. Um, so I'm <laughs> on video two, I'll show you the fourth one that we have. It's a brick pattern. Um, but we've got this trellis. We've got a circle that goes with um, Eastern Palace, the stamp set and the dies. And then we have this one, which we're going to be using quite a lot on this video, um, which is the Fabulous Clouds. Um, and then the last thing that I said about getting is um, a silicon mat. Um, this is great because it means that you're not changing your grid paper all the time and it's easy, easy to clean up. Okay, so let's let's get started with um, using the embossing paste. So I'm going to show you show you the card first. Um, so this card is using high tide. Um, which is the this lovely lovely stamp set here 
and all I've done is I've used the embossing paste to make the clouds. Now I don't know about you but I really like clouds to be white and it's actually quite tricky because um, although our white ink will um, mean that you can do white clouds, as a general rule they te we tend to ink clouds in a colour um, but it's really cool to be able to have white clouds. So this is soft sky cardstock. So I've got a piece of soft sky here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mask on it. Now you can pin the mask down with washi tape or masking tape if you want to. I don't tend to. Um, it doesn't actually move around that much. But if I really wanted to say, just get all one cloud in a particular place, then I would pin it down. So I'm gonna put the silicone mat down first, then that, and then this. Okay, so let's get this embossing paste out. So I'm gonna put, so can you see that much? You don't need a huge amount. So I'm going to put it on, put it down. And um, the way I explain it is it's just like buttering a piece of bread. Or if you're skilled and can do like icing a cake or something like that, you can do this. It's just a case of putting the, the blade down and just wiping it over the top. And you'll be able to see that actually it's not using that much product. I didn't have that much on and I've still got plenty to move around. Now, to me, clouds are a bit fluffy and random. So I'm not actually really going for a super smooth texture. But you'll be able to see that if you scrape the knife over, you do, you can get like a really smooth texture, but I'm not worrying too much about that. I don't mind if my clouds look a bit fluffy in some areas and, and not as thick in others. So, there we go, that's them all done. So I've still got some left here. I'm just going to pop that in stick my spatula in there, put the lid on and then I'm going to take this off and this is going straight into that water but there you go. So let me lift that off and just as a, a little tip just run your finger along the edges of your cardstock because it just does go over those edges and that will just tidy that bit up. There we go, I'll just move that out of the way. So let's turn it around so you can have a, a really good look. So at the moment, it's a little bit opaque. No, not opaque, a little bit translucent. So you can see through it a little bit. But if I show you this one, um, this is completely dry. So you can just see, it's not a huge amount of difference, but just a little bit. So that is technique number one, which is just using the embossing paste as it's designed. It gives texture without adding bulk. It's not heavy um, and it will dry quite quickly, probably 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. Um, just depends on how, how warm your room is. So that's the first technique. Now the second technique, I'm actually gonna do it straight on this piece of card, is using Dazzling Diamonds. Now, if you haven't come across Stamping Up Dazzling Diamonds yet, you need to, and you need to order it in bulk. It's fabulous. It's such a sparkly, sparkly glitter. It's clear, um, so you can see colours through it, but it's just, the, the, it's so fine and so sparkly, it's amazing. So all I'm gonna do is put the glitter over the top. So I've gone from having lovely white fluffy clouds to having super sparkly clouds. And it will stick, you don't need to heat it or do anything else, it will stick and it will be lovely. So here's, here's one I made earlier. So this is, is completely dry. 
um, and the, the glitter won't shed off this now once it's once it's completely dry. So once I'd, I'd worked out that we could put glitter on the embossing paste, I thought, well, that means I can make glittery snow. So that is how this card was born. So this card has got glittery snow at the bottom. Now I'm going to show you how to how to make the the snow. Um, this is the stamp set is Santa's sleigh and the matching dies as well. Um, and I've used softly falling, which is the embossing folder here. So all I'm going to do is get a piece of whisper white card. Now let me we'll do the sort of close up now. So if you can see, I would have embossed it first, but I'm just I'm just showing you the, the snow bit now. And all you do is just get a little piece of the embossing paste and just press it onto your cardstock. Now you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Um, obviously, if you are posting it you don't want it too thick and if it's too thick it will crack as well um, but you want it to just kind of look snow like and I just use the spatula and just pat it so if I just left that as it is it would look fabulous as snow yeah looks really cool but if I cover it in glitter it looks even better there you go, look, glittery snow, which is really cool. So I love that. Now, this will take a bit longer to dry because it's thicker. So give it an hour or so, so it can dry. So that's two techniques. So using the embossing paste, using the embossing paste or with glitter. Now this third technique is how I made this card. Now, because the brick emboss uh, the brick mask isn't here, I'm going to do it with one of the other folders. But don't worry, I'll be showing you the brick folder in video two. So I've made this lovely texture um, using the brick folder. And what I've actually used is embossing powder. So heat embossing powder, the sort of powder that you need with a, a heat gun. And that is what I'm going to show you now. So let me just get my silicon mat in. I'm going to use the little trellis pattern and I'll use the big spatula this time because the others are all in the wash. And I'm just using a little bit because as you can see on this kind of design, I've done like a swipe of embossing paste so I'm going to do exactly the same so I'm going to put it on and I'm just going to swipe across and I'm not um, working very hard on getting it even and get it all off there like that and then pop that down so then I'm going to lift this off and again, that looks, that's a really sort of cool technique. Let me just get the lid back on on there. Now, this, this colour here is a colour of embossing powder that I've actually made up. Now, Stamping Up currently sell gold, silver, copper. I'm going to check gold, silver, copper and it's always best to check. Yeah, right, so clear, copper, gold, silver and white. They don't sell this colour. That's because this is my made up colour. Oh, let me mix this jar. This is what this is. <laughs> and this is a mixture of equal parts of gold, silver, copper embossing powder and dazzling diamonds. And um, what I wanted was, it because I was using it on the brick, I wanted something that looked a little bit grungy. I didn't want something sparkly shiny. 
Um, I didn't want anything smooth and that's why I put the Dazzling Diamonds in to give it a bit of texture. Um, so that's how I made that colour. So it's not that Stamping Up have made a new colour. I've just mixed it and put it in a little jar. Um, so all you are going to do is just cover this over with this powder. And you've got to do this whilst the embossing paste is wet. Okay, it's really important. So it sticks like the Dazzling Diamonds did. Right, I'm just going to pop that back in like that and just give it a bit of a flick. Okay, right, now let's plug my heat gun in. Okay, now there are a couple of things to say. <laughs> My heat gun's going to be on the floor. A couple of things to say about this. I've heated this two or three different ways, and they all work, but they all work slightly differently. So, my preferred way is to put the embossing powder on and then leave it for an hour or so, as a general rule, and heat it. Because I've found that the embossing paste doesn't bubble. Um, now what tends to happen is embossing paste has got water in it and if the embossing paste is really thick when you heat it with the heat gun it the water in it turns into steam and it expands. Now that gives a really cool kind of snowy technique um, and that's that's really cool. But for my things, I actually wanted them fairly flat. So to be honest, I've only put a thin amount of embossing paste on. So generally, it doesn't bubble even if I heat it now. So I'm going to heat it now and we'll see what we get. Um, it's going to be noisy for a minute or so whilst my heat gun does its thing. Um, I'm going to have to hold it to keep it in camera so that you can actually see what we're doing. So right, I'm going to hold it down here so I don't burn my fingers. Right, so you'll be able to see that the embossing powder is heating up and working beautifully. And it's not bubbling. So that's really cool. Last couple of bits. Okay. There we go. So let me see, hopefully you'll be able to see how that, how that works. It's just such a lovely effect because it means that you've got the raised embossing paste and then the embossing powder shine on the top. I have got a few other samples to show you. So there's this one um, and this is a bit thicker. Um, I, I put a bit more embossing paste on this one. So that's um, using silver. And then this one is using gold and dazzling diamonds. Because um, I, just, I just like mixing it in. Okay, so those are the three techniques. So let me just show you the cards again and just remind you which techniques they are. So using the embossing paste just as it is, using the embossing paste and adding dazzling diamonds and there is no need to heat this. So if you're using glitter, dazzling diamonds glitter, um, you don't need to heat it, just let it dry naturally and it's fine. And then the third technique is using embossing paste, adding embossing powder and so long as it's thin, you can heat it straight away. If it's thicker, if you've put a lot of embossing paste on, then leave it to dry a little bit before you heat emboss. So I hope that that um, has given you a start. 
in different ways to use your embossing paste. I will be back very soon with video number two in this embossing paste masterclass and I promise I will have located the brick um, mask by then. So if you would like to purchase any of the products that you've seen today, please pop over to my blog www.inspiringinkin.com and you'll find a shop now uh, button. If, you, if you're on YouTube and you scroll down, you'll find a link to all the products that I've used um, and you can shop online there as well. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.